folks fat guy flies rc or should i say crazy guy flies rc you can take a look at the flags there We've got about a 15 to 20 mile an hour wind and i'm going to fly this little foam jet this is a dolphin on a 4s it's got a 55 um diameter um uh, edf and uh I'm nuts, but here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm nuts. It has no kind of uh, gyro or stabilization of any type. It's got nothing to help it with the wind <laughs> but believe it or not this little plane this little jet actually does really well in the wind as you can see even with the wind the way it is <laughs> yeah it's like way the wind is just rocking this little jet around but whew, this is an edf trainer you can pick it up at value hobby for 55 dollars now into the wind so naturally she's going to slow down she's just gliding right now She's an EDF glider. <laughs> Put the motor back on. Landing's going to be fun. That's for sure. Let's see if I can't do that. Tell you what we'll do. We'll take her out here. <laughs> there she goes sideways there. Well, <laughs> just plopped right down. Today is not a day for greaser landings, that's for sure. You're not going to get that this today. So, uh, and there's no hope of a. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm nuts. I'm absolutely crazy. And, folks, if you're hearing the wind on the video, it's a lot worse because the uh, GoPro 8, uh, I got a GoPro 8 Black Hero and uh, it has a really a great wind buffer built into it to cut out the wind sound. And that, and so if you're hearing it, that's even with the buffer working full speed, <laughs> working it's, it's magic. But it can only buffer out so much of that sound. I don't want to go off to my left here. I'm going to keep flying off to my right because the sun is so bright. I don't, I don't dare, I don't dare look off to my off to the west here because the sun is so bright and blind me, and I need to keep my eyes on my plane the best I can. Today is so windy, 15, 20 mile an hour wind. And see where I'm at, you gotta remember that's where you're standing. Think about the wind 50, 20, you know, 100 feet up. There's absolutely, it's even worse. So your little planes are just gonna be all over the place. So that's an EDF and it's almost standing still. <laughs> all right, let's bring her in. Of course, with the wind, she's gonna do real well. <laughs> She's a sailplane, an EDF sailplane. You just about set her down. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if I can. Hey! <laughs> Got enough wind underneath that wing <laughs> to pick her up. Oh, see, this is where a, a, a new a new pilot 
would absolutely lose their lunch here. Oh, I almost can't even turn it. The wind is so strong. Oh gosh, come on, come on, baby. Come on back to me. <laughs> well, folks, I'm crazy. <laughs> Look at that flag. <laughs> oh, what am I doing out here? <laughs> Having fun. <laughs> well, anyways, that's the value hobby. Um, Dolphin Jet ADF trainer. I got her on a 4S setup. I got an Admiral 2200 4S with a 35 seat discharge, basically right there in the front. The hatch is magnetic. I got a, I bought a 55 millimeter uh, four cell EDF off of there. I'm running a 60 amp ESC, more than what I need. Um, put the stickers on there. I got packing tape on the bottom to protect the, uh, the belly. Put a barbecue skewer up here to act as a little skid. Um, you don't have that fuel tubing that comes to lock down your clevises, so I put little zip ties on them. And I also have uh, four uh, metal geared servos. So really this plane is set up as far as the strength of it to handle wind like this. And you can, you can, this also comes with a configuration to put a pusher prop on there. It has a different cow with a pusher prop that kind of kicks up. So you can get, get that if you want to. Um, but it's a solid EPO plane. It really is. And for the, for 55 bucks, and then shipping, I think it's like 18, you know, and then you buy the electronics put in it. I think I've got 115, maybe. And the whole setup with a battery, well, not with a battery, but about 118. It's got really good cooling. It's got a big cooling duct that goes in there. And then an exit hole here, cooling duct here. And uh, it comes with, with landing gear that you can just kind of pop in. But it's rinky dink and non steerable. So I don't suggest it. Um, but, anyways. That was a, I had my timer set for four minutes, but I only flew it for three and a half. So let's take a look at our battery checker. I'm the only one here today because no one else is crazy enough to try to fly in this. And uh, let's see what we have left here. Oh boy, come on baby. Come on up here. Let's see what daddy's got here for you. That almost sounds bad, don't it? <laughs> what day you got for you? All right. Battery's a little warm. Oh man. Yeah, 14%. I was, cause I was flying her basically full speed the whole time. Battery's a little warm. So I don't like going that low on a battery, but hey, lots of times you get a battery in the mail, that's where it's at. All right, folks, thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm actually going to try the Bigfoot on a 4S today and the little E-Flight Trojan. I'm going to take them up in this wind. So this is Crazy Guy Flies RC. Bye-bye.